So I made a video earlier about creating this account, the Staff of the Dead slash Tome of Fire Pure, uh, and I said it was a tier 10 machine, and a lot of people were like, wow, that really does look like a tier 10 machine, but you didn't get a tier 10 in the video. So I actually wanted to showcase today how much money I can make with this account in just one hour of Edgeville PKing. Obviously, I will be keeping track of how much supplies I use and everything like that so I can subtract that from my profit. And of course, my Staff of the Dead spec is completely overpowered. I'm not gonna lie, like it, it is a little bit overpowered. It wouldn't be o OP if it was like 25 to 30% of melee damage, but it's 50, which is kind of ridiculous. But uh, hopefully I'll be able to get a Venom stack against him, because there's the Venom. Honestly, PKing on this account is really relaxed too, because you don't have to be like really worried about um, being specked out. You don't have to be worried about much. You know, you're just kind of chilling. This guy's really annoying. Oh, see if Venom and hit right there, that would have been perfect. Get out of here. Look at this guy. Nice risk. Thank you. Oh, that was really close. I think my staff spec must have worn off, which is scary now, actually. But at least uh, he is completely Venomed. There, look at that, 14. Okay, let's get the DPS in so I don't have to teleport. Nice 36, jeez. Good fight with the 34 KO. Oh, I got an emblem, perfect. Emblems are really, really good loot. Sorry about that guys, the kill went so fast, I actually didn't get to recording it. Like literally I two hit the guy, but he had a DDS combat bracelet, some rune, rune arrow peas, and now we're on a tier three, and it's only been six minutes. All right, here we go. Manta Rays and I are fighting right here. Good luck to him. He already specced and I haven't even used my staff spec. So might as well do that now. Uh, which means he's kind of taken out for the rest of the fight. Sucks to suck. Look at that 37. Holy shit. I'm curious, what's your guys' favorite looking emblem? Uh, because mine is definitely the tier 4, which is why I'm kind of excited to get it. Um, I don't know why. Maybe it's because it has kind of a more rounded look. Good fight! Speaking of tier 4s, there it is. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe it's the hat on it. So he had a tier 3, which is kind of cool. Alright, here we go. I'm fighting cool PKer name right here. Oh, how nice would that have been if I could have just 2 hit him. Oh, he's dead! 3 hit! <laughs> what? Good fight. I didn't get... Oh, I did get the tier upgrade. I thought it might have been a kill that was so fast, you know. Oh, two mysterious emblems. That is so nice. But you guys know when you kill somebody so fast, sometimes you don't actually get the loot. Wow, this is really good loot. Like, that's 200k right there, plus another, I don't know, 50, 60k. Wow. Okay, this is going crazy. It's been like 19, 20 minutes, and I'm at a tier 5 with a lot of loot. Here we go, I'm fighting Function Keys. Uh, we're both unsculling. He's got a Ranger's Tunic and Fury and stuff. Good luck. And... Nice Ballista. That's scary. Oh, I could definitely two hit him. Okay, good, he ate. He knows what he's doing. He's keeping his hit points pretty high, so the only way I'm, I think I'm going to get the kill here is if uh, I got to eat. Jeez, his ballista can hit like 45, I'm guessing. I don't even know, maybe higher. I gotta be careful. Oh, he doesn't have an anti-venom though. Boom. Got him, good fight. That was quick. Oh, another tier two. Sweet. Okay, so the loot, not bad. These arrows are worth a lot. Oh my God, this guy wants to fight, which would be amazing. I'm just gonna skip my targets till I get him. <laughs> Please. He sculled on me too. This is gonna be beautiful. Oh, perfect. My target's in deep wilderness. If I could get this PK, this would help so much. Look at this guy, and he's and he's in armor that I'm just gonna cook him with my fire wave. Oh jeez. Oh, he's an Avi Maul? I wonder what he risks, cause it, it must be a lot. Oh my god, I could have killed him there. I'm going to be kind of salty if I don't get this kill, I'm not going to lie. 
See, I could hit that right there. Big hit. You can't hit that. I, see, like, I could hit this. Please. Close. Oh, I got him with the Venom. Yes. Oh, my gosh. Dragon plate legs. Oh, look at this. This is loot right here. Oh, my lord. Okay, so he wasn't my target, but I saw him, and I just went for him. I was like, hey, let's fight right now. So that PK was 800k. That is awesome. Ooh, close. Come on. Big hit. I could stack with the Venom and kill him pretty easily. Come on. Oh, Jesus. Okay, one big hit. Come on. Oh, he's so close to dying. He's got to be out of food. Nope, I'm out. I'll tell him I'm out. Risk it. He says he has one food left. Oh, I splashed. That's terrible. Okay, now he's dead. Good fight. <laughs> that was way too close. Okay, I'll come back for the loot. But tier 7. Okay, so my target asked to risk fight me. And here we go. I will be sculling for him, and he can hit really high with his um, knives to maul combo, so. Oh, he he's venomed. Oh, this is going to be interesting then. I could actually kill him. Okay, so he is still on half damage, though, and it's going to take a while for that to go away. Nice hit. One more. Oh, he risked it there. I could have killed him. No freaking way. Come on. That is so frustrating. Risk it. Dang it. Okay. This is only good. Oh, nice stacks. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to get him. I can feel it. This is going well. Oh, I killed him. I actually got him. Berserker necklace. Region bracelet. Yes! Okay, I probably should not count this um, towards my, like, one hour because that is... This does not usually happen, let's just say. But he asked me to risk fight, and boom. Got it! Okay, so I'll just count everything other than the Zerker necklace and region, which is... Oh, and he's 4.9 mil cash! Oh my god, because we're doing an 11 mil risk fight. I didn't think he was going to actually risk 11 mil, though. Wow. Absolutely beautiful 11 mil PK. Okay, so we're not gonna count At the end of the video, I'll add it, but like we're not actually gonna count that. We're not gonna count that here we go I'm fighting pure garbage right here and He attacked me let's just use my staff of the dead spec <laughs> No freaking way beautiful to the tier 9 that was gorgeous. You guys remember that clip earlier from like the tier two to the tier three that I missed? Um, it was because it was that fast. That's ridiculous. Okay, I'm fighting Wacky right here. He's an obby mauler. Better eat. I have used my staff spec, so again, like he's hitting 50% melee damage, which means like it's gonna be real hard for him to get a kill. Hopefully though, I mean I'm on tier 9, so let's get this uh let's get this rolling here. I want my tier 10, because if I die, that'll be kinda lame. Risk it. Oh my gosh! Got him with the recoil! What a beautiful tier 10 kill. Just sat here and watched him die. Alright, so it's been 49 minutes. So, tier 10 in 49 minutes, which means that I have 11 more minutes of PKing to do. That, this, this has been one of my fastest tier 10s. But let's keep PKing till the hour's done. Oh, nice hit. Alrighty, tellied. Oh my god, I killed him! Yes! It couldn't have been to his house. He didn't tell you to his house. There it is. Found his loot. He's got to be so mad. Oh, that is perfect. Okay, I have two and a half, three minutes left. So I don't think I'm going to get another fight, but we got the tier four. 
Okay, let's start with all of the regular items, you know, the items I didn't PK from that risk fight and no emblems. So we price check this and 1.7 mil. That's a good base right there because that's going to way more than cover the costs. So I've got 1.7 mil just from the loot that I PK'd. So I'm selling four of the five emblems I PK'd for 400k. I'll sell the fifth one as well. Since tier fours and tier twos are not tradable, only tier one emblems are actually tradable, I'm just gonna trade all three of these in for points. And then I am going to 5,000, 5,500,000 points. So I can buy a ton of these magic shortbow scrolls, which will give me probably about like 1.5 mil, I'm guessing. Um, but they're one of the best items to buy right now. Now I'm just gonna sell the magic shortbow scrolls that I got. I think they're going for like 25k each. Perfect. So the emblems gave me in total 1.9 mil, uh, which is quite a bit on its own. But then I got another 1.7 mil from the items, but let's sell that quick. Just wanted to pause here again. Now without that defense tanks, um, extra loot that I got because that's not really typical I guess of PKing without the obsidian cape and the dragon plate legs I made three mil almost exactly which is still really really good but on the other hand so it's debatable right should I include that defense tanks loot and the high risk loot because like I didn't plan for that and I just got it but on the other hand like that might not be typical but these things do happen when you're PKing so now I am going to include the defense tank, but not the high risk. And that makes the total loot from one hour PKing on this account 3.6 million GP. Now we still need to calculate the costs um, of like the sharks and everything like that. But I also at the end of the video will add the high risk items. This first picture is a screenshot of the supplies before I started PKing. And the second image is the screenshot of the supplies after I was done with the hour of PKing. Now I also counted all of the runes in my inventory and the food in my inventory. The entire cost was less than 350k. So, and that's overshooting it quite a bit. With 350k cost, I made about 3.25 or 3.3 million GP in one hour. Now just for fun, I sold the high risk items and added the cash I got from the fight. And so if we were going off of just this hour, you know, I made 14.4 million GP in one hour of PKing on this account, which is crazy and I can't always expect that at all. Uh, I'll be able to expect closer to like three mil per hour, but that is still quite a bit of money, you know, a lot more than Zolra. If you guys enjoyed the video or found it interesting, please leave a like, that helps a ton. And uh, thanks for watching guys, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one.